Hey friends and welcome back to the channel. Today we're creating a heart-shaped bed for our dolls and this is a collab with my friend Erica over at Doll Fairy Crafter. You're going to see her channel here on the screen and linked below so go check out what she makes for her dolls and I can't wait to see what she makes. Okay guys so we're going to make a heart-shaped bed for the dolls but we have to talk about the prototype. So every time I make something for my dolls, I draw it out and I make a prototype just to kind of give me an idea of what I'm wanting and make sure it comes out right. So here's my prototype. To make this, all I did was I cut out some poster board in this heart shape and then I just used cardboard to kind of go around it and give it kind of like a platform base. And it kind of reminds me of a heart-shaped candy box. So you could definitely use that as a base if you wanted to for your bed. So this is just a prototype. This is giving me an idea of what I'm going for. So when I put my dolls on it, I realized it's a little too small, but I want to keep it kind of small because I do want it to fit in the dollhouse, but it just doesn't fit them quite right. So I had to alter it and our final bed hopefully will come along perfect so what i did was i cut out a bigger piece and this time i'm using cardboard because i want it to be more sturdy and as you can see it fits a lot better i could go bigger but i really do want it to fit in the dollhouse and i have to make sure that it fits but the dolls do fit on it and I wanted it to be a tad bit taller. So I did cut out some more cardboard. As you can see, it's gonna be a little bit taller, not much. But to get this, all you need to do is kind of just tape it together to get one long piece. And you'll glue it around the base just like we did with the other one. Also, before I put this one together, of course I want this to be my final project and make it really pretty. I did cut out some um, felt and there's also some fleece in here, just a bunch of sheets of different fabrics to give it some fluff. Now you can also use like foam and stuff, but I was out. So we're gonna do that. And that's gonna be our mattress. And then I found this in my collection here of fabrics and it's just a stretchy red material. And I think I'm gonna cover the whole bed in that i think that'll be super pretty i also want to use it to cover this as well like the base of the bed so i was thinking maybe like that so we're going to try that and then for the bedding i'm either going to use a leopard print or something like this so yeah we'll do the bedding last but what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to glue all of our layers of plush down on this cardboard piece because this has to be put together. And then we need to cover it because when we cover it, we're gonna need to flip it over and glue the strip of fabric all the way around. And I usually start up here and you can bend your cardboard and manipulate it however you need to but you're going to glue it on so you need to cover or paint or whatever your cardboard before you do that so i'm going to go cover that and i'll be back to show you how i put it together okay so i have all of my fabric glued on to the cardboard and now i'm just going to flip it over and trim up the edges where it kind of sticks out a little bit because i do want it to be as perfect as I can get it. Now that I have it trimmed up, I want to make sure to lay it flat where the good side is facing down on the fabric and I'm just going to line it up and then I'm going to take it, trim it, and then fold it over and glue it to the back side of this. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and show you what it looks like. Okay, I am finished with covering it. Now it might not look too pretty underneath because I had to pull one corner to get it just perfect. But look at how pretty it looks on top. Like it's plush. I probably could have used a little more batting, but I like how the heart looks like this. So it came out really good for the part that matters. 
but I still just don't like this messiness back here. So I have some extra um, poster board and I'm thinking about just cutting a piece. I don't know if I have a piece big enough, but I'm going to try to cut out a piece and just make a bottom to cover the fabric so it stays intact. And then when I go in to add the large piece underneath, it'll just look a little bit better. So I'm going to pause the video and go do that and we'll see if that looks good. Okay, so it's looking a little better. So there's the front and then I covered it with some of the cardboard. I didn't have enough, but it works. It hides underneath. Even though we're not going to see it, I still wanted it to look pretty neat. I do wish I would have added more batting, but so far so good. Now we just need to use that same fabric and cover our strips. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick and we can put it together. Our cardboard is covered for our base. I did have to add some fabric on, so I have one seam, but the rest is seamless. Now the back isn't that pretty, but we're not gonna see that. But I did cover the whole thing in fabric, making sure to pull it tight so that when I put it on, it's gonna look nice. And so once we get our little bed put on, look at how cute that's gonna be. It's gonna look very pretty. So now I'm going to glue the base onto the bed. I'm going to try to leave a little bit of a gap because I do want it to look like the bed's hanging over. And I even thought about putting some of that red poster board behind here just to make it look cleaner. But I'm not going to do that because I do want to see under the bed. And if any of this comes apart, I can re-glue it. So I'm just going to keep it as is and that way I can access it later. But we're going to go ahead and glue that together and we'll see what it looks like. And all we'll need to do is make bedding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably start at the top. And I just want to make sure that I have a little bit of a gap. Um, so the bed, the mattress kind of hangs over. I don't want it to hang over too much. But we're just going to glue this down and just kind of look when you're gluing it and make sure it's not going to leave a lot of glue seepage and when you're hot gluing hot glue from the inside like what I like to do is add my glue on the inside and then slide this piece up so I'll have it way back here add the glue and then just slide it up so that the back side doesn't show as much glue so let's see if we can get this together but the bed is covered and all we have left is bedding but so far so good I did want to mention a few things I would personally change about this build and that is I would add more cotton or batting or even foam to give it more of a mattress look on top. As you can see it is still rather thin but that's okay. I mean once you add bedding and everything it'll come together but that's one thing I would change. The next thing I would do is not even put this piece of um, poster board in because when you're putting on this cardboard and putting it around, you can't push it over enough to leave a ledge or an edge um, for your mattress. So I would change those things. I did use a little extra and I was gonna cut it off, but I decided just to stick it in, just keep it like that so you could do that. But I think it came out really cute. I do need to clean up some of the strings from the hot glue. But let me know what you think. I kind of wish that it was a little bit thicker like the mattress part. But not all um, platform beds have a thick mattress. So I still think it came out really cute for the dolls. And I think it'll be a great photo op. And it just... It's really cute. Now I will remake this eventually and we'll redo it in a different way. But for now, I wanted to show you how to make a simple platform bed. And as you can see, he sits really good on it. It's not too tall, it's not too short. I mean, this is my original versus the one I have now. So you can see a huge difference in the size comparison. So yeah, I'm happy with it. And I cannot wait to make bedding, so I'm going to be working on that in just a minute. But I did want to show you the dolls laying down on it. Now, of course, I had to make it to fit my dollhouse, and I still don't even know if it's going to fit. But if I could make it bigger, I would have. Um, 
So you can make it as big or as small as you want, but that's them in the bed. And I think it's really cute. Also, I think this would be cute for Blythe as well. So you can make so many cute things with like recycled materials. And I still have to make the bedding, of course. So we're going to work on that. Now, I'm not going to do a tutorial on the bedding. So if you want that, just let me know. So let's go ahead and make some bedding and set up this bed on display so you guys can see it all put together. So here is the finished bed. And guys, I am obsessed with it. I think it came out so cute. Um, I kind of wish I would have made more bedding, like different colors, but I did do pink and I think the pink fur just looks very romantic. So there's what it looks like. And you can still see the um, platform because I kind of moved the bedding around. Um, and then I tried a tall Barbie on it and she fits okay. Regular Barbie, of course, will fit better. And of course, uh, Ken is sitting here shirtless and he's hanging off the bed a little bit um, when he sits. So that's perfect. Um, I just think it's really cute. I cannot wait to take photos on it um, with the dolls and different dolls and just make some shorts and music videos and just have fun with it. Um, and all of this came from just cardboard. I mean, and some fabric. So you can make so many different beds and bed frames. If you guys want me to make more, let me know. I am all for it. And there's a couple of beds I have in mind. So yeah, this is how it came out. I would love to make one for Blythe. That would be really cool too. And please don't forget to go check out my friend Erica's video, um, Doll Fairy Crafter. She's going to post something. So I can't wait to see what she makes. Check that out. I'll have it linked below. And that is it for our doll bed. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And if you make it, please tag me. I'd love to see what you make. And for now, that is it. And I will see you guys very soon with another video.